Kamino was the birthplace of the Clone Army and possibly the most important lifeline to the Republic during the Clone Wars. The Separatists viewed it with jealous eyes, but what would happen if the cloning facilities fell into Separatist hands? Now, for this theory, we're going to go with the idea that the Separatists' assault on Kamino succeeds. They manage to force the Jedi and clone occupants out, as well as detain the Kaminoan residents. Now, we're going to say that Palpatine has no say in the matter, as realistically he would never want or allow this to happen. So, the Separatists now control Kamino. It's likely they do one of two things depending on the situation. Possibly most likely is that the Separatists would know that the Republic would act swiftly to retake Kamino, as without their supply of troops it would dry up and they would not be able to fight. For this reason, it's highly likely that the Separatist fleet would bombard the cloning facilities, sending them to the bottom of the planet's deep ocean, as well as the research scientists affiliated with it, in a sort of scorched earth campaign, before fleeing back to Separatist space. This would ultimately result in the Republic losing the war, as without the supply of clones, they would not be able to compete with the Separatist droids, which would ultimately end in a Separatist victory. However, alternatively, and possibly more interestingly, is if, if the Separatists believe that they'd be able to hold Kamino from a Republic counter-attack without sacrificing any of its own territories, then it may choose to commandeer the cloning facilities in Kamino as a whole for itself. The Separatists would likely do this as the clones were in their own right a brilliant weapon and offered an alternative to the swarms of droids the CIS traditionally used. If the Separatists were able to convert the cloning facilities to serve them as opposed to the Republic, then they'd have power over two armies, whilst the Republic's clone army slowly dwindled away and they'd be forced to recruit its own citizens into the ranks of its military to stop the Separatist onslaught. However, even if they were able to train and recruit a large enough standing army, then I highly doubt it would be able to stand long against both the Born to Kill clones and the mass amount of droids the CIS had, leading to a Republic surrender. Many Separatists would also be eager to preserve the cloning facilities as opposed to destroy them due to their ties with major companies across the galaxy and in the Separatist High Council, for example the Techno Union, Commerce Guild, etc. These companies would love to have access to the cloning facilities as it would open a whole new market unlike anything the galaxy had seen since the invention of droids, a new workforce, a new type of weapon to sell, an alternative to droids, which do have flaws. Essentially, if the companies could cling to the Kaminoans' cloning technology, then post-war they could stand to make an absolute fortune. This would potentially end in clones becoming more and more common throughout the galaxy, not only as soldiers but labourers, potentially even overtaking droids as the key labour force which would totally change the landscape and culture of the galaxy altogether. But what do you think is more likely and how would it affect the galaxy? Please put your opinions and scenarios below, also please like and sub for more content if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.